Hi everyone, I've gotten some requests to show you my nestabilities organization. So I've made this quick video just to show you how I'm storing them now. Uh, there's many different ways you can do this. You can do this with larger binders. So this is just an idea to get you going and get you organized with these wonderful dies. Okay, so here I go. I have two binders and they're five and a half by eight and a half. So let me pan out and make sure you can see them. Okay, they're just basic black binders that I found at Office Depot. Okay, I've labeled this one shapes. So this one has all my basic shape uh, nestabilities. Okay, and this is how I have them. Try not to get so much glare. Okay, I have a label and it's long rectangles. What I did was I put some chipboard. Um, you're going to see different pages here. I've done some with chipboard, some with photo paper, and some with the actual insert that's in the package, the original package of Nestabilities. So you'll see different ways of which you can go. I've, I just used what I had on hand um, so that I didn't have to spend so much money. The inserts are five and a half by eight and a half. Okay, so when I open it, you'll see I have my um, long rectangles here and it's out of order right now but I put magnetic strips right there so that it holds it together so when I need it I just pull it out okay take out what I need this is what they look like and then just put it back in in the sleeve okay this one's out of order so I'm going to leave it out okay <clears throat> so I have my hearts and see this one I've done it with the magnetic photo paper. Okay, so in the same thing, you just pull it out and pull what you need and put it back in. Okay, I don't have the original package on these, um, the original ones. That's why I used uh, chipboard to give make it a little bit more sturdy. Okay, so this is going to be my squares, and there I have my scallop squares and my regular squares. Okay. These are my rectangles, and this is scallop, and these are long rectangles, so only one set fits. Okay. And this is where my other rectangle should be. It goes in there. So that way I can see them. These are my long ones. And see, this one, I have the package, so I know that this is going to be my small scallop octagons and my large ones. I put both of them in there. Okay, so both um, original packages are in there. So I just put them in there, and here they are. I could fit both of them there on uh, magnetic photo paper again. These are the regular ones. And here come my ovals. So I've labeled them there. Okay. okay. Sometimes they get shift around if I don't, if I take them out and don't put them exactly in their spot. They have to lay really flat on the photo paper so that they don't move around. So make sure that they're nice and flat. Okay. And my rectangles. Okay, you get the idea. So you can use the photo paper or the magnet. Okay. Whichever way um, is easiest for you. So these are all the shapes. Okay. Now my other one is, this one is going to be for labels, borders, pendants, and frames. I'm debating about getting another one because this one got a little bit too fat. Okay, so I have too many of them. And so this one, I use the original uh, insert. And I had to trim it because it's a little bit too big, so I trimmed this one. Okay, so this is my frames, and there you go on the photo paper. Here's another one. Okay, and what I did with these, on some of them, I ran out of chipboard, so what I did is took the actual um, insert, okay, and on the back of it, I just put two strips of magnet there, and now you can just put your frames in there. Just 
that. Okay, so now I can just put them in there. Okay. Okay. This one's on chipboard, just with two strips. So wherever I could, I try to use you know the the actual inserts itself, so that they they stay in there nice and you know. And I see the picture, so that was that worked out well. And then in some, I have to use photo paper. Okay, here are all my labels. I was able to fit two in there. So wherever I could, I did two. Um, I did chipboard. Okay. So you get the idea of how to organize them, and they're very easy to pull out and easy access. Okay, here are all my pendants. Okay. okay. And here are my borders. Now my borders, I did the same thing. I used the actual package and just put two strips in the back and just inserted them. Okay. If um, you want this to be a little bit more secure because you're afraid they're going to fall off. I would suggest using removable glue dots and just putting them right here at the top so that you know creates the pocket closure. Or you can also use little strips of Velcro to do that. I don't mind it because I don't you know I don't move my my binders that much. You c I just leave them up. Okay, so that when I can go in, I can just you know page through them and find what I want. So I can do that. And yes, I have a lot. Thanks to uh, Glenda for giving me a great prize from Glenda's Creative Place so that I could have a huge collection. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a email or um, a PM on the Cricut message board. And that's all I have. Hope you like it. Thank you.